Ciao ragazzi, buongiorno. Good morning guys. Happy Friday. So, let me check a couple of things before we start. All right. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Today we gonna finish this beautiful button. Let me try to find the right spot. All right. Okay, great. So yesterday we painted with the under um, the underpainting method from Crossword Studio, the black armor and his um, black gray skin. So should and we even paint the uh, the lava effect and some cracks on his armor. And today we're gonna do all the leather parts. We're gonna finish the the crest and the sword. So let's go. All right, let's see what do we have here. Okay, so let's. The hardest part here is to remember the palette I used yesterday. <laughs> so let me think. Uh, we had black, ivory, and crimson. And a tad of brown, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so as always, let's add our ultra matte varnish on our cap. I'm not sure how long it, this streaming will be, but alrighty. Okay, let's pick up a brush. Oh. One second, guys. Okay, nothing. Nothing important. All right, let's go. <coughs> I'd say let's fix uh, this part of the armor and let's do the rest. So we said black, crimson and ivory And a tad of brown, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Let's see if it looks the same. Kinda, yes. Okay. So let's just fix all the spot we missed yesterday. Oh, maybe a ton of blue. Yes. Mm hmm. No. Blue and ivory. To make it even brighter, we just need to keep adding our ivory to the mixture. I know that you cannot see the palette right now, but I'm working on fixing my former studio again. So that we can have a proper setup. 
maybe for the spring because winter is a mess painting there I don't have the heating and it's them freezing so let's work on all the edges use the side of the brush when it's possible Okay, also I was thinking to darken the the whole armor a bit with a um, black wash at the end. So meanwhile, let's just keep painting all the black parts like the elbow pads the gloves of course leaving a bit of the underpainting work we have we did yesterday sorry be sure that the color is diluted enough to have some transparency because the trick here is to work on overlapping layers as they teach on their pattern and this means that we have to know how the color will look right after it dry dries all right let's do the crest okay the terrible thing is that I'm using the black from the primer and not the black from the artist from the scale artist will just let me pick up some real black where is it where is the black nice I've lost the black here it is Gotta clean these colors one day. Hey, Aster Grenade, welcome to the streaming. By your name, I suppose that you paint miniatures, especially where I'm at, right? <laughs> This upper part of the glove, maybe. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I just started yesterday this Votan army, and finally is my personal pro project and not a commission. And I decided to paint them with the iron, dark iron dwarf color scheme from World of Warcraft just to make something different just start getting into streaming too it's a minefield, yes <laughs> if you need any help you can join Discord I'm going to help you let me send you the the link really for any help I'm available both painting and streaming because I, I know and I felt the struggle 
not having having anyone to to help me help me okay so let's paint in black the crests and we were going to do all the recesses in uh, lava effect just to announce all the inscriptions and details oh uh, yeah thank you you're welcome i've been painting uh game workshop fellowship of the oh nice lord of the ring guys are so hard to get right uh if you like to i um i have an episode in my painting academy for beginners on youtube where i show how to paint eyes for all the scales starting from the uh smallest one like this from warhammer and yeah, Lord of the Rings, etc. Teal, bastards, and huge figures. It might be helpful, maybe. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the follow. <laughs> Okay, let's darken all these crests slowly. Doesn't matter if we leave some red inside the inscription, because there there will be the lava effect though. Love the cell you've done on this mini. <laughs> Thank you. Wanna be good at it, but it's so hard. No worries, there's even... I mean, my academy is completely free. It's all on YouTube, and I can show you. I made the... Um, um, where is it? The Lava Effect 2. I just shared it yesterday on Instagram. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, so this is another lava effect I made during a live stream. There's the tutorial too. And I've got somewhere the... Um, yes, <laughs> I love lava. <laughs> uh, I have the, the fire OSL. Let me see, okay, no, not here, but yesterday I published, where is it? Oh my god, in the history, here. Okay, so I made the lava effect, marble effect, and chrome effect too. These are three single episodes in my academy. So you can have a look at them. It's very easy. I mean, this academy is made for beginners, so... It's very simple, like uh, simply explain and everything. No hidden secrets and stuff like that. I tell you everything, everything and know to reach those results. <coughs> Again, I check out some videos later. Nice. Feel free to leave me your feedback. Oh, I even painted... Um, I don't have the tutorial for this. Durin. But... Yes, I can make another tutorial. Or, or a live stream. I bet that you're going to like it. Just let me find it. Okay, here it is. Durin. With the OSL.
Do you use eyebrush or just paint paintbrush? He annoys me. Uh, I'm sick of Squidmore's tutorial or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I like Squidmore as a character and a YouTuber, but honestly, his tutorials are like, oh, okay, maybe you can teach something for real. <laughs> Ninjon, for, or Ninjon, for instance, uh, I love him and I love his tutorials, etc. So, um, do you use eyebrush or just paint? Yeah, only only paintbrush. Um, it's because I really struggle at cleaning the brush, uh, the eyebrush every time I have to change color, etc. So I I know how the OSL works. So uh, I'd rather go with the with the um, with the brush only. Also, it's a bit more challenging and it helps you a lot. Uh, skilling up your painting ability, trying to do something with the brush instead of the eyebrush. Same thing for the blending. Um, I teach the um, a painting method, which is called 50-50 mix. Um, and it allows you to reach the same smooth uh, blending of the eyebrush, but with the brush. So I really suggest to have a look at it. So uh, just let me show you what I mean. I painted Kid Boo and I made the tutorial on Kid Boo, both PDF and video, in two, in two section, in two parts. So this is all painted in brush. As you can see, it's super, super smooth. And this is the 50-50 mix method I teach in all my videos and, and academy. It's super smooth. Thank you. It also, this method also helps you to uh, focus more on, on the painting and light placement rather than struggling with the with the blending because if you if you're not so skilled that you already know how to perfectly set all the lights uh, you're focusing maybe on the blending only and you don't focus on the light placement so that you f you may lose your focal point on the miniature at the end and this way you just uh, first thing you do you focus on the light placement and then after all the lights and shadows are placed, then you can start blending them with no struggle at all. So here I'm using, for the overlapping layers, a brush with a very sharp tip because this way I'm able to be more precise and leave some of the underpainting work we made yesterday, which allows us to um, leave some colored shadows into the recesses and make it more artistic of course <clears throat> Gotta run off back to work, then uh, we'll see you if you're streaming later. Yes, thank you for the app and subbing on your channel, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
I'm adding a bit of brown to to the black because we're about to start the leather parts. Okay. Diluted as always, so we get some transparency and black and brown gives us sort of brownish gray. Hi everyone, buongiorno cara, ciao Exca, come stai? Buongiornissimo. Spero non ci siano troppi problemi di connessione oggi, però visto andava meglio in upload. Quindi speriamo. Hai dipinto qualcosa tu? Tutto bene, grazie, no, uh, anche ieri dopo riaprire la live non era andata male, dai, <ride> meno male. Eh, L'unico problema è che ora mi tocca streamare con uh, a 720, mannaggia, invece di 1080. E quindi perdo un po' di punti. Ora spero per quest'estate di riuscire a risistemare lo studio, così d'estate posso streamare di là. Il fatto è che non avendo il riscaldamento in quello studio non cioè, mi gelo l'anima. Anzi che la stampante riesce a stamparmi. Quanto però ho messo dei bei settaggi. <ride> sì, infatti... E allora, qui un po' di viola. Maybe we can add some purple here and there on the pants. Because it looks very cool. Maybe we can just do a wash later. Diciamo che qui da me, eh, essendo in mezzo al bosco e a valle, sì, considero la sera che ormai già siamo sotto lo zero. Però si sono abbassate parecchio le, le temperature, sinceramente. Ieri un pochino di nevischio c'era. Nel pomeriggio però.
questo un attimo regolandomi con i layer per capire come tirare fuori il marroncino I'm just working on the overlapping layers to figure out which mixture is best to make it more brownish Anche da me fa freddino stamattina, ho trovato una bella gelata, wow, vado, eh, ora iniziano le temperature. Allora, adesso la manica... Ok. Mm -hmm. Tra un po' ragiono su come fare bene la parte di cuoio. Intanto continuiamo così. Aggiungiamo un po' di avorio. So let's start adding a bit of ivory. Sì, <coughs> è tutta l'arma, tutto il box, uh, il padrol box dei Votan e quindi li farò tutti così, con tanto di basette la usi. che non vedo l'ora di fare ovviamente però devo trovare un attimo un colore di stacco tra i pantaloni e l'armatura e penso che andrò sui toni dell'arancione so I'm thinking of um, a color scheme to detach a bit more the pants and I mean all the underdress to detach it from the armor and I was thinking of doing it with um, orange So I'll just make all the inner parts orangish. The fingers here are naked, so they have to be more grayish because we don't have the glove here, but the the the, the skin, the bare skin. Sì, 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 sì. Allora, considera che loro come storia hanno tantissimi schemi di colore, però i più, più utilizzati adesso sono il turchese, il, um, ho visto il viola, e, um, il rosso, il giallo e il bianco, seguendo ovviamente i, um, i colori della League del Codex. Io invece sto andando proprio... Cioè, sto proprio facendo una cosa mia artistica, non, non mi interessa tanto giocare o cose simili, quindi 
sono un po' più libera, diciamo, a livello di colori. Opla. Poi col fatto che adesso stavo giocando a World of Warcraft, ho detto perché no? Ho i Votan, che mi piacciono tantissimo. Sono praticamente dei nani spaziali. <ride> perché non, non farli... Non farli così. Anche per divertirmi un po'. Wow! Ma chi c'è? Il nostro super guido! Ma quale onore! Come stai? Mamma mia, un botto! Contentissima! Grande, guido! Mi raccomando, eh, quando torni a Roma, dimmelo, che ci becchiamo. No, come l'altra volta che vieni e ti sgamo per le foto. <ride> Sto de merda e calla, mannaggia. E eh, dai, dai. Quel che non ci uccide ci fortifica. Terremoti hanno smesso? Spero di insomma. Ok, facciamo un po' di highlight on its board phrase and then we can start doing the lava effect. They look so evil and cool, love it! Yo, the NQB, thank you very much. Yes, I wanted to do something different for my army, because finally I could start a personal project. I'm done with the old commissions, so... I was so excited to try this color scheme on my buttons. This is the first one I started yesterday, so it's taking a bit longer because I'm still studying all the details, uh, each single color, etc. So the others will be faster for sure because I already know which color to apply. But I'm glad you like it already. <laughs> Whoa, it's you! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know your nickname. <laughs> How is it going with the Drukari? Are you winning? <laughs> you said to follow, so I have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we can start adding some primary red into all the recesses for the lava effect. Yeah, doing well, thank you. They are super fun to bring out and play with. Oh, so glad. So, so glad. I had another guy commission uh, who told me to paint Drukari again, <laughs> but this time we chose the, the Necron uh, color scheme, so they are all dark silver, very grim dark, and green OSL. Let's 
So I'm adding red into all the recesses. We're gonna repaint in black the, um, the inscription later. Bit of a change at least. We don't want to do more of the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I told him, if you want them red, no. No way. I cannot do it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Okay. And now we can add some yellow. Let me just try to black line a thing I saw about yesterday blaster. Which was just want to black line here a bit with blue. Okay. To emphasize the contrast. Yeah, way better. Alright. Yellow time. This is primary yellow and I'm going to add a tad of yellow green yellow green, which is a sort of lime from Vallejo, just to be sure that the primary red from Scale Artist won't be too much transparent. So I'm slowly adding some yellow here and there. I think it's turning a bit orangey, yes. So the next step will be adding some white and then glaze some yellow over it to obtain a brighter yellow, of course. Especially when you want to do some very bright and garish colors, always suggest to do a white layer underneath and then glaze over the, the color. Guido, hai dipinto qualcosa ultimamente? O hai tipo solo stampato a raffica? Ok, yellow again. Sì, è super bright now. Maybe even too much, so we can add some red again. And black on the inscription. Black and a tad of blue. I'm using the side of the brush. Okay, great. Let's see that we can add some lava effect here in the circle too. Okay. 
and now yellow again you can pour the eye of the boar let me try to be as much precise as possible all right just the purple in yellow perfect and now some spots here and there Let's enhance the brightness here with the blaster with some white first and then a glaze of yellow. Okay. Nice. Maybe even the the mouth of the boar can be lava. Why not? And the nostrils. Yes. Okay. Here, these tubes can be lava too. So let's make them red. And I'd say that we can start the um, the sword as well. So let's make it red.
let me look for the orange I have here. Yes, a standard, standard orange should be fine. Okay, made it. Poor Tiff. Okay, while the sword is drying, let's... Let's do the pants, the trousers. So I work with brown and orange. And let's see if I add a tad of blue, what happens? Yes. Okay, let's always work with um, Overlapping layers. Let's make them more orangey. I'm studying if this orange is working. Let's see if we add some red to make it brighter, maybe. Yo Neko, hi. Welcome to the streaming. I'm working on this vote and I started yesterday. So since it's the first one, um it's taking a bit more because I'm studying all the color scheme.
Okay, let's start with the um, weapon 2 with the sword. Let's start creating some yellow tones close to the inner part of the sword. And just keep adding yellow until I have to add white. Okay, let's add white to obtain a brighter yellow. I don't want preciser stroke, so I'm kind of painting all the sparks. This way. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot. So I'm just painting all the texture of the lava with ivory. And once I'm done, I'm going to reapply a glaze of yellow to make it more bright. Brighter and more garish. Okay, let's say something like this. Whoa, serious, ciao! <laughs> ciao, ciao! Sto buildando Votan e ancora sono indeciso sul color scheme e poi vedo queste cose e dico vabbè lascio il primer che è meglio Sì guarda io me lo so Siccome non è una commissione mai per me ho detto senti Sono fanatica dei, dei Dark Iron Dwarf di World of Warcraft e li faccio così E quindi mi farò tutto l'army in modalità lava Ok time for the glaze Yellow glaze like this And as you can see, it's a lot brighter than before. Okay, now the cool part that is going to show us the real lava effect is adding blue and black to the mid part. Here. Sta uscendo una meraviglia, io pensavo stile Lego Mars. Beh, carini! 
Ma i, la, i Votan secondo me come li fai li fai, li fai bene perché sono proprio belli a prescindere. Cioè, a me personalmente fanno impazzire letteralmente. Li farei di tipo di tutti i colori. Tipo, quelli, quelli verdi sono letteralmente... <ride> È vero. A me piace un sacco anche quella versione tipo che fanno turchese. Con quel violetto. Violetto nelle ombre e... E lime nelle luci. Spettacolare. Scusate se mi va in autofocus, ma... Ok, I'm about to paint all the cracks, the tiny cracks on the edge. Allora, adesso facciamo tipo tutti i mini, i mini puntini qui di lato. Oh yes. Do you like it, guys? I love it. To make it this process easier, of course, you can use a ruined tip brush. Per renderlo più semplice questo lavoro potete usare un pennello con una punta rovinata. But I'm lazy and I love challenges, so I'm just using the brush I have at the moment. Just do very tiny dots here and there. To make it easier, you can do what I'm doing right now, pointing my gold armor with straight gold, no blending required. Yes, <laughs> at least are you using any washes, please? I will wash later, yes. Oh, the custodes gold for days. 
Yes. If you have, use inks, which are even better than washes. And if you're using gold armors, then use a brownish uh, wash or ink. Oh yes, I'm liking it. Does it look lava? Super nice. I really like the way it's turning out. I was so desperate yesterday. Like this is never going to be the way I'm thinking. Instead, we're bending it together. Whether it down inks or straight inks. Uh, depends on the brand or the pigment they have. I mean, the density or something like that. If they stain a lot, you can use uh, yeah, inks, pure inks. Otherwise, another very, very, very super cool thing you can try if you have. Do you have oil paints? Maybe black or brown? You can use oils, like a wash. Wait like uh, four hours to kind of let them dry, but not completely. And then you top with um, tissue all over the, the miniature. And you just remove uh, all the ink uh leaving only the one into the recesses and you obtain a very cool cool effect I'll have uh, to go get some cheap craft oil paints, only have acrylics and try that metal, yeah. You won't regret it. It's very, it's very quick. I mean, yeah, you have to wait um, for hours, but after that you're done. You can just paint all the minis at once. This soundtrack looks more like Final Fantasy rather than... Oh, it's the Garden of Life, okay, Lich King. Rather than World of Warcraft. <laughs> it was like, oh my god, did they switch game? Okay, now what do we have to do? Maybe I can announce here the lava. Oh, 
with a touch of orange and yellow. All right, yes. Now, the other thing we can do is... To fix here. Okay, I'd like to fix the crack I made yesterday here. And make it more natural. So I just have to extend it a bit more. Yes, a lot better now. Okay, no, 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 no. I have two choices. But I think the blue is going to make it too close to our gray. Thinking about the under armor, whether to make, yeah, I think I'll go with blue. It's more laddish. Blue and black, yes, like in the arm. So let's rewash everything. Yeah, rather than orange. That's because blue is a nice color combined with the lava effect. So I think that I won't regret this choice. Hopefully. Because blue is uh, rather than black enhances the contrast with the lava effect. In fact, I'm, in fact, I'm going to add a tad of blue on the sword too. It's it's Prussian blue, so we're talking about very dark blue, night blue.
Okay, and the bl the belt is going to be brown. Yes, it can be brown. Now let's try to add some ivory to our blue. And a tad of crimson. Let's start highlighting. All right. Yes, I like it. So I'm lighting it with a sort of violet, light violet. And I'm going to wash it with crimson later. As you can see, my color is super diluted. This way I can leave some nice brush strokes, but still control them so they can go anywhere, like a real wash. Okay, let's wait for it to dry. I'm just adding very thin glaze of yellowish tone for the skin highlight on his hand just to distinguish it from the glove. for his face 
which is a bit yellowish. Let's darken the healed with blue tones, dark blue tones. Okay, I leave the healed color like this, I mean the handler, because I think I like it. Okay, other things we have to do... Okay, I think we can focus on the belt and the tubes. I'd go with the wet blending method here, so 
I mix the color while it's still wet. Just keep adding yellow, orange, and red to my brush without removing it. And now, now, and now, and now, let's do the belt. It's the only part we are missing, if I'm not wrong. using a sort of lilac for the details Think about the knee pads. If I want them red or no. Okay, I'll think about it. Let's do the the belt and the leather parts meanwhile. I'm only using brown now.
and black lining with black and blue to the touch part of the armor from the trousers all the details should have this treatment to make all the tiny details more visible I know it's annoying and boring but it's a must if you want to level up with our painting Ouch, my back and my neck ache a lot, but we're almost done guys. Let's black line all what we can. black and blue because blue will enhance the contrast it's more powerful uh, than a single black color Not speaking because I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Just to be more precise. If you have questions, guys, feel free to ask. So beautiful when you see all the details popping up out.
as you can see I'm black lining all the details I see for each section for each part of the miniature I think we're making a great job with them. Really like it. Okay, let's do the um, shoes. Let's start with a black wash. More than a shoes, they look like boots. I like the color of the um, knee pads, so I used a um, crimson underneath and then a wash of blue, so we create a sort of uh, violet, which is very nice in my opinion. It's also another color that matches the, the lava color scheme and effect so it's fine <laughs> Thank you. Yes, so far we have a very nice palette with uh, grey tones. Uh, I don't know. So let's start from the beginning. The base coat will be um, red from above and blue for the shadow. Then we start with the skin tone and we have. Um, I made it with crimson and ivory so we get a sort of pinkish and if I'm not wrong I added a tad of black to make it more grayish okay let me show you the palette so this is the skin tone we used crimson black, a ton of blue and ivory, which now is dirty, but it's ivory. It used to be ivory. <laughs> and then we got this blue, black and a ton of um, crimson for the trousers. So we get a sort of dark blue and then violet reflections. And then we have Nothing else. These are the colors. <laughs> it's not a white palette range, but it's it's working. Oh, and a, a tad of yellow for the skin tone. Yes. Now let's do some brighter brown adding ivory to the brown let's see with crimson too yeah with crimson too or maybe blue no i want 
brown and ivory. Brown ivory and a tad of crimson for the belt lights. Okay, we desaturated the belt a lot, which is look nice here now. Just keep adding ivory and white. All right. Oh, can I say we're done? Let's adjust some tiny details in this few last minutes, like enhancing the red on the bar lava. Wow, I like it guys, whoa, this is us, our Iron Dwarf. I'm trying to get some nice picture because he really deserves it. And I'll try to not ruin anything, everything as always. Let me do, let me add a lava crack here very tiny one P 
pretty much satisfied. Oh yes, here is the final result. I really hope to find again all the colors we created <laughs> for the next one, but yes. <laughs> so happy really. Oh, I'm already killing it. I hope you like it guys and that you appreciated the live stream. I'll let you know the next one when I, when I try to stream again, probably on Tuesday morning. And let's see the topic too. If you have any idea, of course, feel free to write it on Discord so we can work on a live tutorial. Just fixing some spots here and there with pure white, I mean pure ivory. Okay, for the metal parts. Just to make it different. Thanks for the painting, Jeff. Have a rest from painting. Yes, <laughs> I will. I will have lunch for sure. Thank you guys. Thank you for the company, really. I just finished two or three edges here and there, and then I'm done. Okay, for real, done. <laughs> Bye, guys.
Thank you. Kisses. Thank you for the follow, Ton, Tun, sorry.